the Chachu 16, and we're at uh, Amtac Suppressors. Still, Adam is going to give us a rundown on how they make their suppressors, how they're different on the inside. So what we do, this is our baffle structure. We start with a solid piece of 17-4 precipitation hardened stainless steel. It goes in as a one solid block. We drill the bore. We do all the threading. We cut all the baffles in one single operation wow. at the same time. What this does is allows us to maintain a really precise concentricity because instead of a tube with a bunch of K-baffles in it, it's welding some threads on the end, this is actually the piece that threads onto your barrel. So what we get is this tube behind there that screws in, gets tack welded right there. That threads over your barrel. We have everything goes inside the tube. Obviously, it's not a clear tube. It's just a demonstration. And then an end cap goes on and threads into place. So the entire thing is assembled without structural welds. The baffle structure threads directly to your barrel, so you get very, very precise concentricity, really good accuracy, really precise con return to zero. And you can actually disassemble it, clean it if you need to, although most people will never need to. If you do get a baffle strike, you can send it back. We can take out that entire baffle structure replace it and send it back to you without messing with the serialized components. There's no paperwork involved in any of that. Awesome. But I absolutely love how this is an over-the-barrel design. Very unique, really cool. So, and, and that's a great illustration of how much of the barrel is covered and how much additional uh, length is added by using this suppressor. That, that's really cool.